Hello guys. Welcome to our class Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management. 2. Now our topic for today is about statement of financial possession. So what is statement of financial possession? The statement of financial possession often called the balance sheet. It is a financial statement that reports the assets, the liabilities, and the equity of a company on a given date. In other words, it lists the resources, the obligations, and ownership details of a company on a specific day. You can think of this like a snapshot of what the company looked like at a certain time in history. Statement of financial possession is in this definition is true in the sense that this statement is a historical report. It also shows the items that were present on the day of the report. This is in contrast with the other financial reports, like the income statement that present companies' activities over a period of time. The statement of financial possession only records company account information on the last day of an accounting period. In this sense, investors and creditors can go back in time to, to see what the financial possession of a company was on a given date by looking at the balance sheet. So, that is the statement of financial possession. The statement of financial possession is often called as balance sheet. So this is actually the balance sheet. The balance sheet is the real account. And the income statement is the nominal account. The balance sheet is the real account because at the end of the accounting period, all of the accounts will stay there where they are. While the income statement most of the accounts has been closed to capital. Okay? So, balance sheet has three elements or components. These are the assets, liabilities, and equity. So, what is asset? Asset is a resource controlled by the entity as a, as a result of past events and from which future economic benefits are expected to flow into the entity or into the business. So asset will generate money in order for the business to survive. What else? An asset is anything of value or a resource of value that can be converted into cash. Okay? Like individuals. Individuals can be called as an asset. Even though you don't have any contribution, investment, money investments, but you as a person is an asset through your services, your labors. So you are one of the assets in the business. Then the companies and the government own assets. For a, for a company, an asset might generate revenue. Or a company might benefit in some way from owning or using the asset. 
these are the examples of assets we have cash and cash equivalents cash and cash equivalents has a lot of examples see cash on hand cash in bank pretty cash fund change cash fund commercial paper marketable securities money market funds treasury bills okay those are the cash and cash equivalents another one is accrued income accrued income is an asset the company is expecting that there is a cash or asset flows into the business as, as a company income and then there's a trade receivables inventories prepaid expenses land building vehicle equipment furniture and fixtures leasehold improvements intangible assets like computer software franchise agreement trademarks patents copyrights these are the intangible assets then investments properties biological assets like plantation dairy fruit trees etc intangible assets are presented in a statement of financial possession after deducting the related accumulated amortization okay so these are the examples of the asset Okay, next, liability. What is liability? So, a liability is something a person or company owes, usually a sum of money. Okay, liabilities are settled over time through the transfer of economic benefits including money goods or services recorded on the right side of the balance sheet and then liabilities include loans accounts payable mortgage deferred revenues bonds warranties and accrued expenses okay these are the example of liabilities. Accounts payable, notes payable, accrued expenses. So these are the another example of liabilities. Accounts payable, notes payable, accrued expenses, and earned income or prepaid income. And then SSS and Bill Health premium payable, interest payable, withholding tax payable, income tax payable, loans payable, mortgage payables, etc. So these are the examples of liabilities. Okay, so next, equity. So what is owner's equity? The definition of the owner's equity often called as the net assets. It is the owner's claim to the company assets after all of the liabilities have been paid paid off in other words if the business assets were liquidated 
to pay off creditors, the excess money left over would be the considered owner's equity. So, when you say asset minus liability equals owner's equity. Okay? So, that's all. That's all for the statement of financial possession. What else? What else the meaning of the statement financial possession? This definition is true in the sense that this statement is a historical report. It only shows the item that were, pres that were present on the day of the report. This is in contrast with other financial reports like the income statement that presents company activities over a period of time. The statement of financial possession only records the company account information on the, on the last day of an accounting period. In this sense, investors, creditors can go back in time to see what the financial possession of a company was on a given date by looking at the balance sheet. So, a statement of financial possession is very important for the investors to see if the company is healthy or if the company is generating profit. So, when the investors learn about this, they are willing to invest their money into the business. Okay, next. Financial of statement possession has two types. These are the report form and the account form. So, what is the face of the report form wow what's that <laughs> okay this is the report form in the report form you can see the title Nixon trading corporation statement of financial possession you can see there under asset the current asset and then after that can see the non-current asset here non-current asset and then you will total the current asset and the non-current asset so that is your total assets okay so asset and the non-current asset equals total assets next after you posted the assets, all of the assets, below or below is what we call the liabilities. In the liabilities, you can also see there that there are current liabilities and also non-current liabilities. Okay? So, you add current liabilities plus non-current liabilities so equals total liabilities and under it there is the equity the Neptune equity liabilities plus equity equals total liabilities and equity so okay so, do you have any question on how to possession your accounts by using report form? This is the report form. You can have an outline there. First is the asset. Below asset is the liability. And below liability, it is the equity. So, that is... A what we call 
report form. When you can see here, the account receivable, and then there is a allowance for doubtful accounts. When you deduct 50,000 50, minus 2,100, the result is 47,900. So, what is the problem in here? Account receivable, as we all know, that all of the receivable from your business, you cannot collect all of the money. Example, you have the 50,000 account receivable. At the end of the accounting period or at the end of the due date of that payment, you cannot get the whole the, the 50,000 of your receivables. So that is why you will declare allowance for doubtful account. That is the doubtful account that you, you'll never know how much that you cannot uh, receive from your creditors, from your customers. So that's, that is why there is a doubtful account. Now, at the end of the accounting period that you already confirmed that there is a doubtful account, you will use an adjust it to journalize, you will establish the allowance for doubtful account expense. So you debit allowance for doubtful accounts and then you credit the allowance for doubtful account. That is to offset as to how much was the allowance for doubtful account. Okay, so what else? Here in our non current asset, building has the accumulated depreciation. Equipment as well, there is accumulated depreciation. Trademarks, there is accumulated amortization. Okay, so each of these has their accumulated depreciation so when your building is 1 million 100,000 and then at the end of your at the end of the life of the building example this building will last until 25 years so you will establish accumulated depreciation over time that it will be it will become an expense. After the accounting period, this accumulated depreciation will be credited and you will debit the account accumulated depreciation expense building, accumulated depreciation expense equipment. So that is, that is how you treat the accumulated depreciation in order for you to account and to follow the principle that is the matching principle at the end of the accounting period. Okay, so next, the liabilities. Next, non current liabilities and equity. Okay, we are done with the report form. Now we will go to the account form. This is the account form. You can see here the asset and you can see here the liabilities and the equity. Account form, account form when you can see the outline 
this is actually the T account. You can see here T like that. T. T. It is an outline of the T account that all of the asset is in the left side, the debit side, and all of the liabilities and and equity is all at the right side and this is all a credit side okay so that's all I think that's all so if you have any question about the statement of financial possession or any of your questions that you encounter please uh, tell me so that we can address your problem okay